Guys, I'm pretty mortified to look up pinwheel and cartwheel for coins, and I'm not finding anything on YouTube. And Maybe it's just because mine's acting up, but... This is one of the most elegant and beautiful techniques that mints have used for an anti-counterfeiting type of deal for years. and Also adds a beautiful amount of detail to a coin, and basically how that works is the fields of the coin have a frosted effect to it and I'm not sure if this was damaged or if there was a little bit of metal flow because of that die break right at the bottom of his neck but this one almost appears to have some frosting on his face too but it's actually part of the pattern is it's harder to see with this one because it's a little bit more worn and Sadly, it does wear down with age with coins, but when you pick up a coin like this and you notice that the light twirls around it like a pair of clock hands, and if that had anything on it at all, like say a plating or somebody who's trying to fake some kind of uh, strange metal look to it, it would cover up a lot of that, especially the uh, uncirculated ones. Like here we see a 1949 Polish Grosch, and Grosch, you know, I don't know how to say it, guy, sorry. And you can see how that frosting causes that light to spin around it. And I still haven't gotten the staples off of this one yet, but I don't let it come in contact with the coins. And this one's a little bit more dinged up on the front. You can see how the light dances on it. Again, here's a five cent Singapore coin made out of aluminum bronze. And again, see how the light spins around it in that beautiful pattern. If a coin gets dirty enough or worn enough, the pinwheel's no longer going to work. There's a tiny bit left on the back of this 2000 Massachusetts, but just barely. And on the front, you'll see the nope. You might be asking yourself, well, why is this important? Here's Mr. Eisenhower and a uh, 46 Walking Liberty, and they're both about the same shininess, but you look at him and you'll see that the light spins around him properly, and other than that slight little ghost mark from where he got a little bit of tape or something on him. He looks pretty solid. Then you pick up this 46 Walking Liberty and you see that it looks like it has some PVC damage or acid damage of some kind to it and the pinwheel isn't there. It's basically been wrecked but if you didn't look at that and you just went by the shininess of the coin you would think that that was basically an okay coin and doesn't mean that this is a fake but it's definitely more circulated than it looks so if you've ever wondered what causes that little twist of light that goes around your coin that gives it that cool little spinny kind of uh, what would you call it visual effect then you can thank the pinwheel happy hunting